so previously in our second last video we did the enterprise mode site list manager and uh, we did it through the servers uh, users as an account we forced it but since server did not have a edge browser in there so what we did was that uh, we just uh, did the setting for Internet Explorer 11 and left it over there but what if you have uh, a computer that belongs to a important person uh, like somebody in the executive branch or or if it's like a few computers like uh, in a classroom training classroom and this they would like just maybe 15 to 20 computers that uh, you want certain uh, web pages to be open in Internet Explorer one thing is that the instructor tells the students or trainees to open this page only in Internet Explorer and like actually that happened to us yesterday today uh, we we were uh, we are in training uh, for a week so there was like a um, e-learn video and uh, normally we just use uh, Google Chrome but today we were asked to use only Internet Explorer and only that would work so we what we it was a lot of work like I we had to click on the link then go to Internet Explorer open in that one and all that so that I thought there should be a way that these number certain computers that you can manually um, do the setting because if it's a if it's a, a classroom then you know week after week there will be people coming and using that uh, those computers so you can take the hassle so what we need to do is we need to go to group and edit group policy so that's what we need and <clears throat> again if you remember from that one uh, let's see if they had that I do remember vaguely what settings needs to be it's, it's supposed to be computer configuration then administrative template Windows components then Microsoft Edge yep and then it's <coughs> let's go it's somewhere like compatibility it's configure we are looking site mode <clears throat> enterprise mode site less so this is the one that we double click on it then we click enable and then we have to enter the <coughs> address if you remember that was on our server right there and it's in here <coughs> it's uh, basically it's this one uh, so it resides in E and then ESML but we cannot put E can we no so what we have to do is server name then and then site.txml so we have to oh. <coughs> server one nine slash e sml slash site and we have to get copy this and then paste in here now what microsoft edge is going to do is in theory uh, that it will check against those uh, uh, values uh, that's uh, sites and if they are in this list that is that resides here on my server it should open them in Internet Explorer 11 let's try that and hopefully it will it should like in theory that's what the thing is about so this is Microsoft so let's try Yahoo So So Iger <coughs> let's sign out
side let's manage right there so sign out sign back in so I don't know how it works I've never tried it I'm not sure does it like force the uh, that uh, web page to open up in Internet Explorer like it um, starts an instance of Internet Explorer 11 and in there it launches the web page or just change make the changes in edge browser to be compatible with the Internet Explorer 11 I am not sure um, but it's coming back so we will see so let's go back close in here let's open a new web page yahoo.com and it's still opening in edge so yep so it's opening in edge browser I was thinking that it should like launch ie if that's not the case maybe I'm doing something wrong or that's not how it works let me find out so that indeed is the case I search around what happens is once you enable that you do the setting and what happens is that uh, the page stays in edge it's not like that it will start an instance of Internet Explorer 11 it just renders that according to the Internet Explorer 11 so this is it um, it's uh, the page whatever is in sightless stays in edge but opens with the compatibility mode uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one